Say for practical combat, some warrior martial art. This video is going to be in both of our channels. Uh, I want to explain about um, what we were doing in the four uh, versus one spawning, but I want to bring some big difference between sports techniques and, and traditional martial art. But in this case, I'm talking about the actual practical application of the combat. And I'm going to use Willie. Willie has part a lot with me, he has a lot of experience, and Willie's going to be fighting soon, right? Okay. So the first thing is, this is completely like fun. Okay, having like a stand up, uh, let's call it like Muay Thai position or like a boxing position, it's completely fine. The throw me a jab, throw me a cross. That's, that's perfectly fine if you're gonna fight one on one. But what if you have more than one person? And I want you to be honest, Willie, can you put the fighting position that I was doing towards the camera? Okay, that's not actually what I was doing. It's, it was right here, it should be classical Muay Thai defense. So, can you really see all the angles that like people, for instance, around here? Right here and right here, you have. Exactly, you have blocked right the close. peripheral vision. And there was somebody complaining, and they don't understand about the triangles and self defense. Uh, you might see in traditional martial arts some people in some styles using this type of movement. I want to explain about this. Like, throw me a slap, so you can block like this. Again, okay? throw me a slap, you can block like this. But what is slow motion? I throw a jab and you throw a slap. Okay, good. No, but try to hit me. When I throw a jab, boom, we may hit each other at the same time. Who's the winner? I don't know, depending. Maybe he hit me harder, maybe I just hit him with a jab. So, applying this principle, if you see here, I don't need to have my hands right here blocking everything I have. I can put it right underneath the shin, so I could have the peripheral vision fine. And if I need to block something, let's say a kick, notice, how I got a triangle right here, blocking the kick. This hand will serve me as support. So the same thing is, he's gonna throw me a slap, and I may be a little bit out of balance on pointing forward. I may block the slap with this hand, like again. I just may do this, so let's say I'm throwing a jab, I'm gonna throw the jab, and you slap me, slap me free. Slap me, slap me, do it. So, what if I, I only fight and what if my knowledge is only about this? Think about it. Come with the lap and then come with the jab. Boom! He hit me. So, and that happened because that's a sports martial art. And you may find somebody on the street that knows a little bit, but at the same time, he's a street fighter. He may try to and close. He may try to clinch and he may slap you. So, you cannot put all your, your, your coins on the same basket because if you lose that, you lose that basket, you're going to lose everything. So you cannot put all the concepts that you have of a sports martial art to apply to everything. Because for instance, put, really put the fighting position I was showing uh, right here. Okay, that's fine. But if I know a little bit of grappling, I may come here and right underneath. I'm gonna do the low double leg take down. That's what you see in MMA. Think about it. Have you seen how people in MMA they drop the hands? Have you noticed? Think about it. Nate Diaz. Uh, they they not always are like right here. You see it like, like this. Come, exactly. Come. Relax. So in other words, if you understand the triangle theory, and I'm not going to explain it completely here, but just think about it. If I'm going to do a takedown, two legs, and once the head passes, boom, the takedown comes. Throw me a punch. So there is a triangle right here. Look. So right here, I could kick, I could punch, but at the same time, he could come with the triangle and defend. So my point is, sport martial arts are fine, are perfect for sports, and you can use them on the street, of course, but there is so much more in traditional martial arts that you're missing for only doing sports martial arts. That's what I have to say. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, and share. Now,